Let's put this all together now. We've got a new shooter with what we are assuming is a blank slate in their brain relating to this type of information. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to overcome this person's filter and get the information into their short-term memory system. So we're going to teach something, keeping in mind the limitations of short-term memory, but we don't expect them to learn it. We just expect to help the brain recognize it's important enough so that next time it'll go through the filter. We wait at least 24 hours and then we teach the same information to them again. This time though, we're expecting it to go into their short-term memory system. If you want, you can also prime new information during this teaching session. And you'll see later that's what we do in the course that we've developed. So, when we're teaching the information, there are two things we want to do. First, we want to take advantage of the power of observational learning by demonstrating what we want them to do and then having them imitate what we do. This increases the chances that the information will be retained. We also want to step back and let them work through practicing on their own. Like I've said before, we want to take the training wheels off. This makes the student really engage with the material and allows them to make mistakes so they can learn from them. This really is one of the most critical components of learning. Just remember to make sure that everything remains safe. That is always your first priority. So after this teaching session, we can be fairly confident that we have put the information that we wanted to into the short-term memory system which is half the battle, but we're not done yet. If we want this information to go into long-term memory so it is retained, we need to leave it alone for at least 24 hours and give the brain the opportunity to consolidate and then transfer everything. So now, approximately 48 hours after we first introduced this information with priming, the student has finally learned the information or skill in a way that is likely to be retained for the long term. And at this point, we can now introduce new skills into short-term memory without worrying about interference. We can also work on improving or enhancing the information that's in long-term memory through what we might consider more traditional methods of training.